So as some of you may have heard, there's been lots of hubbub all over the internets about this, but Intel's Sandy Bridge chipsets, that is the P67 and H67 chipsets, are affected by a bit of an issue that can cause the SATA 2 3 gigabit per second ports on your motherboard to degrade slowly over time and then die, okay? So basically, right now, if you look around on the major e-tail sites, you probably can't buy a Sandy Bridge board. Looks like it's probably going to be around the April-May time frame before you can actually buy a Sandy Bridge board. But I'm going to show you guys, if you already have a system based on P67 or H67 chipsets, how you can prevent this issue from affecting you in the near term while you wait for the replacement boards to come on the market and for yours to be swapped for one, okay? So you can see right here, the way I have my Sandy Bridge system set up is that I have my two SATA 2 devices, that is my DVD burner, as well as my Intel X25M SSD plugged into these two ports. So you can see right here that these are SATA 3G5, SATA 3G6, SATA 3G3, and SATA 3G4. So what I'm going to do, and you're going to need to consult the manual of your particular motherboard, find the section about the internal I.O. connectors and which ones are which. In this case, they are labeled on the board. And you are going to want to take those ports, unplug them from any devices, and plug them into one of the SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports on your board. So in this case, these two are running off the Intel chipset and those are still okay, even though they're running off the same chipset as the SATA 2 3 gigabit per second ports. And I could also plug them into these ones, which are running off of a third party chipset. So any one of these four ports is fine to run my devices off of in the meantime. Now bear in mind that Intel recommends or Intel advises that the SATA 2 3 gigabit per second ports are more likely to die from heavy use. So by avoiding using those ports, or let's say for example you have a three drive configuration, you have an SSD, a hard drive, and you have an optical drive, and you only have two SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports. Well, Intel recommends you lightly use the SATA 2 ports if you have to. So you take your SSD and your hard drive and you plug them into these ones so you don't get any data corruption or potentially even data loss by using the good SATA 3 6 gigabit per second ports. And then you take your optical drive, which unless you're burning a DVD, which probably is a very low risk sort of thing if something goes wrong. So you take any sort of non-critical devices and plug those into the SATA 2 3 gigabit per second ports. So thank you for checking out my video today on Linus Tech Tips, and don't forget to subscribe.